Well, hello. <laughs> Today I'd like to talk about the Twisby Draco. This is a fun pen. I, uh, okay, okay, Twisby is a fun brand overall. I'll, t I'll tell you a little about Twisby. I'm, and yeah, I, I've been gardening and uh, working outdoors and downstairs and everything, so I'm not showered, I'm not shaved, I'm not anything, <laughs> and I'm a little tired. But anyway, Twisby Draco is uh, Twisby Draco is kind of the latest pen from uh, Twisby, where they uh, do a lot of the things Twisby does well. They have a piston filler, they have a ink window, they have a really cool finish, and uh, it's a pen you can service yourself, so a lot of good things going on. <laughs> I just noticed that. Sorry, totally off topic, but oh my god, don't send me ink samples if, if you're from Europe, because apparently U.S. Customs opens them and does not seal them correctly. But anyway, back on topic. So, uh, Twisby is uh, interesting because what they do is they listen to their customers. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, what they do is uh, actually respond to their customers. So uh, let's take a look at their latest offering, which is definitely an interesting one. So I filmed the uh, writing sample for this already, and all I have is the side view of me. So we're going to do the writing sample again. And just so you know... Grabbing up my notebook here. So yeah, filmed the writing sample already, but don't know what I did, but somehow I lost the footage. So anyway, this is a Twisby Draco. Now it arrived nicely packaged the way Twisbys do in this plastic doohickey. You open it up, you gotta Oh you got some stuff on the back here. Open it up, you've got the, uh, here's how you fill it, uh, here's how you take it apart, because Twisby's all into that, and they even provide a wrench so you can take it apart, and they provide some silicone grease so you can grease it up. So it was in here, but uh, yeah, so let's take a look at the pen. So I saw the Twisby Draco and I was like, yeah, want a very nice mottled purple and black finish. You know, it's a modern acrylic, sort of maybe modeled after these this vintage celluloid on this uh, Parker Duo fold. But you know, this this is aged a bit. So very pretty. Uh, Twisby likes to do a lot of demonstrators, and this is definitely not a demonstrator. But it is still a piston filler. Open it up. And yeah, there's the pistony bit. The ink window, sorry. Wow, did I just say pistony bit? Ink window! And yeah, I, I've filled this up two or three times since I bought it. I haven't actually uh, washed it yet. And I bought it with a Twisby broad steel nib. So all in all, I think it's a very classy pen. You know, Twisby did do the Twisby Classic a few years ago, which it's okay. It just didn't really light my world on fire. This one... Okay, did this one light my world on fire? Probably not, but I like it. So let's see how it writes. And I'll do more comments on it because obviously I've been using it for quite a while. I wish I... Now I kind of wish I put dates on these so I remembered when I filmed them. So, uh, I was going to look up what the meaning of Draco was, but I didn't in this all this intervening time. Maybe I'll remember that for the talky part of this at the end. All I can think of right now is Draco Malfoy, the, uh, the blonde guy from Harry Potter who's realizes how annoying Harry Potter is. <laughs> okay, so this is Parker Quink. I guess we're supposed to not like Draco Malfoy. Washable blue. And I think you can already see this is a wet pen. I've enjoyed writing with it. Uh, wetness and flow. 
since some parts of the Twisby aren't even dry yet. <laughs> Wetness and flow. Yeah, it's a wet pen. Smear test. Whoop! <laughs> oh, forgot the flex. And no, not a flex pen. A little tiny bit of line variation, but not, you know, a whole lot. Uh, what is reverse writing? Uh, so this is the second time since I've owned the pen that I've done that. It's okay, smooth, just not, you know, amazing. And finally, the world-famous Pierre Gustafson test. And I think it handles that admirably. So, am I sorry I bought this pen? Oh, heck no, I love this pen. Okay, so I bought that pen let Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Um, I, it, my package was seriously open see if I got it yeah the address is on the other side so but yeah my package was opened by the US Customs and uh, it was a bunch of ink samples sent by a European viewer and uh, oh my god but anyway <laughs> back to talking about the Twisby Draco um, Twisby has been really good about responding to viewer to uh, feedback from their customers you know, what do you like? Oh, I like a piston filler. Okay. Um, they, they created ink wells that fit into their pens. Um, they created fun finishes. And lately people have been saying, you know, I'd like something that's just a little bit more traditional, which is what the, the Tosby Draco is. And uh, I absolutely adore this pen. Now, I have to thank Talks from the Heart, which is another YouTube channel. Uh, for putting me onto this pen, but wow, am I glad she did because Yeah, very nice pen uh, Beautiful writer. It's now inked up with something entirely different from Parker Quink washable blue. It's now inked up with uh, bungle box uh, sweet potato purple and uh, I'm loving it again it, and it fits this gorgeous gorgeous finish so, yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled that I bought this pen. And, uh, you know, it, it has been since winter. Because I want to say it was February. Maybe. Anyway, winter when I bought this pen. I am thrilled with it still. Uh, Re-inking it and writing with it. I was just like, yes. Twisby has a great pen here. Now, I have sold... My Twisby 580s, I've, told, I've sold my Twisby VAC 700s, I've sold everything except the, this and the Twisby, um, sorry, classic, sorry, brain. <laughs> but uh, I love this pen. And again, that's gorgeous. So, uh, this gives me a lot of hope for Twisby's future and suddenly has me reinvested in Twisby and saying, wait, what is Twisby going to do next? Because, yeah, this is, uh, I, I usually buy vintage pens. I, I've gotten to the point that I, I, I mostly buy vintage. This caught my eye as a modern pen. And I'm not sorry. I am really happy with it. So, Can I justify the price? No. This this pen is too expensive and and I didn't spend YouTube money. I spent my own money on it back in the whatever month it was this winter, but at this point I'm still not sorry that I did. I yeah, I I can't justify what I paid for, but oh my god, I love writing with this pen. So uh and, and I've got a fun ink in it right now. So uh yeah. Uh, I'll just uh, close this by, since I don't have a pocket on this shirt, 
yeah, I didn't set up my set because I was just like, ooh, sweaty, gross from the garden, but yeah. But yeah, it fits on the shirt, no problem. It fits in the pocket, no problem. This is a great pen, and uh, I am excited about it despite the price. So uh, make of that what you will. I don't care. So, well, thank you for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.